I'm Bimola Aladekomo, the chairman of Smart City Innovation of Lekki, Lagos. And what is Smart City Innovation Hub? It's a real estate development specifically designed for the technology uh, industry, however built to certain standards and certain principles towards ensuring sustainability of the environment. Uh, it's also going to be really cost effective for the users of, of the place. It's going to consist quite a lot of infrastructure. Um, the most important one will be safety, security, um, green energy. Um, it's going to be environmentally friendly. Uh, it's going to cater for the habits of the people living in there in terms of the working environment, the living environment, and also the playing environment. And where's its location? Because it's near to the, it's near, near to the Lagos Business School, isn't it? Yes, it's opposite the Lagos Business School by the new Fort Minam Bridge that is being constructed now um, on the Lagos Lekki Ekwe Expressway. Um, so why is it a smart city? Why give it that name? Because of the power. Yeah. Right. It's going to be mainly by green energy, right? So we're going to depend heavily on solar energy and wind energy, which is unusual in this climb. Uh, with that, we then come the public uh, power system. Now, the buildings themselves are going to be built in standards, in smart standards, which have already been defined by IEEE. That means that the construction materials should be one that are sustainable. Uh, they don't want that to be environmentally damaging, right? The signages will be there, uh, the water system will be greatly optimized and well planned so that there are no wastages. Um, there will be a lot of green environments. Nature will be a major issue. Quite a lot of facilities. What's the incubator element of the project? Now, the incubator element is something that we believe is more for our local environment. We have this teeming large population of youth that are unemployed and some of them are, are unemployable because of their background education. We like to bring those people to what you call an incubator. And just like the way a chicken will incubate the egg, we take them from that raw form with their talent, groom them up, mentor them, and then give them the facilities to thrive in an economy. Those facilities will include access to infrastructure, access to finance, access to markets, which ordinarily they may not be able to afford. We're going to give them offices. We're going to give them access to the internet. And we're going to fund them. Some we may need to house. We're going to give them accommodation. But we have a lot of talent talented materials in the environment, but they just do, do not have the opportunities and infrastructure to show those talents. Finally, you were getting a certain amount of accusations in the session earlier that this was just a project for rich people. What, what would you say to that? Yes, it may look as if it's for rich people, but then without the rich, an environment may not develop. You need the rich to put down the resources to bring the poor up. What you are doing, yes, may look a little bit classy, may look a little bit high-end, but it's not necessarily high-end. We have the court, bit, the smart city court. You're going to have the middle income and also the honorary workers living in there. Now, you have also the zone 9, what you call zone 9, where you're going to have the market. You don't have rich people in the regular marketplace. Right, so you're going to have the poor in the market area. So the traders, you're going to have the traders, you're going to have the sometimes um, the orcas, refined orcas, uh, orking their wares yeah. at the market. You're going to have the roadside restaurants, what you call bookers, yeah. at, uh, at that market. So we're going to get that for all classes. But when you come to the smart city square, Yet, it may look classy, but even the poor, they need motivation. Imagine the poor coming to a place that is clean, that is bright. They want to aim, to say, look, I want to live 
in this area, some distant time. So even for motivation purposes, you need infrastructures like that.